Hey, what's going on everybody? How you guys all doing today? So I am, it's a was you joined with today. So I'm more than willing to share some of the thoughts and ideas with you. And I'm pretty sure you guys all might be bored and stuff, but what I'm doing 24 seven is educational stuff. And I think I'm really using this quarantine period for my own advantage. And if you guys don't mind, then I'll be more than willing to give you some of the basic expressions in English. So uh, I'll give you top five expressions of the day to day. So let's go. Okay, guys, our very first expression, save for a rainy day. I'll give you countless examples on save for a rainy day. Let's start with the real one. If you are in quarantine, then what you would probably be doing, spending a lot of money, right? But I mean, you also, if you are one of the guys who'd been saving for a rainy day before the quarantine period. Now, I'm pretty sure you must be lying on your couch and wearing out TV and surfing the internet all you're doing now. But if you do, if you those who didn't, then you would probably now pretty stressed and trying to find a way how you can potentially and possibly make money. So saving for a rainy day basically means save enough money so you can spend some day. You know, there are some basic equivalent expressions in your own language, so you choose. Our second expression is second thoughts. Second thoughts usually means like change of plans, change of thoughts and stuff. Let's say you had a marriage plan with your loved ones and all of a sudden this, I don't know, some problems, maybe quarantine kicked in and now you guys are having second thoughts about the marriage, thinking that you might want to postpone your marriage, right? So this means second thoughts, a change of plans, change of mind, this one. And our top three expression is fender bender. Well, I wouldn't wish my worst enemy to have that. So fender bender basically means a minor car crash accident, minor vehicle accident. So when two vehicles crash, but there's, there isn't much damage done to them, to both of them, then you can say, ah, oh, it's just been a fender bender earlier today. So, yeah, and then uh, we, we were cool at the end of this fender bender and we both went our directions, our own directions. This means, fender bender means minor car accident. And our top four phrase, top four expression is, were you born in a bar? This is a type of expression when you use, when someone comes into, your, comes into the room and forgets to shut the door and you say, come on man, were you born in the bar? bar? So this is the very new expression. I think it's said a lot. It's commonly used in Uzbekistan in a different way, of course. You just say like, if someone forgetfully, simply forgets to shut the door, then you just say, hey man, were you born in the bar? So a lot of people want to say, uh, were you born in a cave? But it's com what's commonly used is, were you born in a bar? This is the expression you might, be, you might want to use whenever you encounter the situation. Okay, last but not least, our top five phrase, top five expression is the very last one, which is go to great length. This is not a very funny expression, I would say. So this, when you, you use it, like when you're trying your absolute best to try to achieve something. So when you want to take IELTS exam and uh, if you want to get the IELTS score of eight, 7.5, what you have to do, you have to go to great length. So that means you have to try your absolute best. You have to push the boundaries, right? So go to great length means pushing all the boundaries and trying your absolute best to achieve what you want to achieve. So this wraps up our today top five expressions. And I'm pretty sure you guys enjoyed the video. So if you want to get more of these videos or if you actually want to enjoy the lesson with me, then simply subscribe to the channel and click the link down below or call us at the numbers below so I can see you pretty guys soon. Peace.